Hi YouTube, it's Dawn. I just thought I would get on here real quick and tell you what's been going on. Um, we are not TTCing right now. Um, I tried Weight Watchers and for some reason I just couldn't stick to it. Um, the new system, I don't like. So I decided not to do it anymore. I canceled my subscription online and everything. Um, I like the old system better, but it's it was just kind of a pain. Um, and I've been not feeling so great lately. I've had a lot of um, fibromyalgia um, flare-ups, and my blood pressure went kind of crazy again. And I was talking to my doctor, and he had mentioned if I had ever done um, fasting. And I was like... Fat girl fasting? No. Um, so I thought about it, thought about it, kind of put it away, figured, you know, I'm not really wanting another baby right now. And I think that was one of the reasons why I was not wanting to lose any weight. Like I would kind of self-sabotage. So I talked to my husband and I think we have agreed that we're good with one for probably ever. But at least for now, so we're starting on a different path in our life. Um, I'm going to be going back to school to be um, a dental hygienist. And it's the way, the way I think we're going to do it is it's going to take me probably five to six years. So I'm going to do it really, really slow because I still have Jackson. I'm not going to school full time. I'm just going to do what I can. I start... Probably sometime in March, the end of March, beginning of April. I have to do a dental assisting course, and that's 10 weeks. And then I have to start all my prerequisites for the hygiene um, course itself. So it'll be a while. But so now that I'm not in the mode of um, self-sabotage, I've been talking to my friend, my friend Mariah. And she's trying to lose some weight from having a baby, her third. And she was talking about juice fasting. And we've been going back and forth. She doesn't live here. She lives in Indiana. But we decided that we're going to do a juice fast together. Um, we've both seen uh, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I've actually, I've watched that documentary, I would say now, probably six or seven times. And I've always been very interested in the results and everything, but I just didn't think it was something I was able to do, so I never really thought much of it, um, but now she was um, a very gracious and generous person, and she bought both of us a really nice juicer, the same juicer they used in that documentary, the Bravel um, Fountain Plus, so she got that for me, so now today is day one of juice fasting. I woke up, Jackson let me sleep in today, thank God, because I'm not feeling super great anyway. He, um, he woke up around 10 o'clock, so we got out of bed at 10. I tried to get in about a liter of water in me before I fasted, I started juicing. I got about three-fourths of a liter in before I figured, you know, I'm probably going to start getting hungry. So I should start um, working on my juice. The way I decided I'm going to juice is I'm going to do probably do all my juicing in the morning, like juice everything I need for the whole day, and then um, just take out what I need when I want it. Because with Jackson, I don't always have the time, and I think that I would probably be more likely to grab for food if I'm hungry and I don't have a the time to, you know, prepare everything. So it took a lot, little bit longer than I had anticipated to do, but that's fine. So I didn't get my first drink of juice until about 1230. So after the water, so, and then I had about 20 ounces of juice and I, the recipe that I really like I didn't think I was going to like it, but I like it. It is, for the whole day, for me, it was um, 
four apples, four red delicious apples, two pears, a bunch of kale, like one bunch of kale, two zucchinis, two cucumbers, eight carrots, six stalks of celery, and two bunches, two big handfuls of spinach. I think that's everything. And it made about 107 ounces of juice. So I did re, the stuff that um, was kicked out of it, I did reprocess it for a second time. And I did get another about 10 to 12 ounces of juice out of the um, juicer. So I would recommend doing that. So, especially, oh, and then there was two cucumbers too. So, and the cucumbers, I think I got a lot of juice out of it the second time. The first time, they didn't, they still seemed very solid um, when I was looking through the pulp. So I did that. Right now it's 2.44 and I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded, a little congested, but I, I've also been battling kind of a cold. So I don't think it's that, but the lightheadedness, I really honestly do think it's from not eating because I eat all the, day, all the time. I snack throughout the day whenever Jackson's eating. So it's mind over matter. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try. My ultimate goal is um, 60 days. I don't know if I could do that. I have a good friend, Jody, who um, she did a two-week juice fast. Well, it was actually like a four-week juice fast. But what she did is she fasted, no food, just juice for two weeks. And then on the third week, she introduced one meal a day for the next two weeks. And then now after a month, she's eating, you know, just healthier meals. And she's lost, she lost 45 pounds. And she's a bigger girl like me. So maybe I might do it that way. I'm not going to put a number on how long I'm going to do it. If I get to day seven and I feel like, crap, you know, I need to eat, maybe that's when I'll decide to add in one, you know, meal. I don't know. I'm going to try every day my best just to do complete juicing. Um, I've also toyed around with maybe juicing for, you know, 30 days and then taking a couple weeks off and just eating healthy and then going back to juicing because ultimately I have 90 pounds to lose to be at a good weight for me, something that I would feel comfortable being at. Um, let me see. I've gained weight since the last time I talked to you guys. So let's see how much weight I would lose. Or I would be, I would be, if I lost 90 pounds, I would be at 127. Right now I'm about 217. So 127 pounds for someone who's about 5'1". I could still, you know, shoot for 100 pounds and still be good um, with my height wise. I'm kind of big bone though. Um, I'm not medium, I'm not a very petite type of person, I'm very large breasted, I don't think anything lower than about 125 would look very good on me, I think I'd look really sickly, but ultimately I'd, I'd like to be about, you know, 130-ish, which is what I was at when I met my husband almost, it'll be nine years ago this coming June, so it's not like I haven't been at that weight before, I was at that weight most of my um, high school so and I still felt at that way I still felt kind of chunky but I felt good about myself so today's day one I've only had one juice I don't know if I'm gonna drink the whole 107 ounces today because that seems kind of like a lot it took me about a half hour to get down the 20 ounces it didn't taste bad but a trick that I did do is I did put a piece of gum in my mouth and it and I drank out of a straw so that I didn't have as much of the flavor in my mouth. It wasn't bad at all. Not something I, you know, oh my God, this is the sweetest, best thing in the world. But it definitely was something I could do. So, and I think that might be my everyday juice because it had a lot of good stuff. I think if I feel like I need a treat, maybe I'll do some, um, like, strawberries and berries for a treat of a juice. But... That's basically it. Um, I'll stop this and I'm going to do an 
update on Jackson and everything. So I will go talk to you guys later, and I will do another vlog tomorrow. I'm planning on doing a daily vlog um, on my juicing to see how I'm going. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.